we have a chest x-ray PA view in which we see here a densely calcified lesion in the right uh, paracardiac area of uh, this chest radiograph. It looks smooth at the lower part of the area of the lesion but uh, it's not really clearly defined at the top as the arrow shows us. So there would be a few differentials in our mind uh, when we think of it most likely a benign condition. However, uh, to know best what we do next is a CT scan, a regular CT with contrast. And uh, as we see the first window, which is a little uh, sort of bone window, just to see the lesion better because it is densely calcified, we can see that it's, it is seen in uh, the lung proper, it is seen on the right side posteriorly, and uh, it looks really smoothly outlined. We also uh, gave, did a contrast study uh, for this patient. So if we look at all the CT sections, including the contrast as well as the coronal windows, what we can see is a slightly hypoplastic bronchus, which is actually the medial segment bronchus of the right lower lobe, and it's ending into this calcified lesion. So the calcification actually occurs because of mucoid impaction that uh, slowly calcifies over a period of time. So the final diagnosis here is uh, that of a calcified bronchocele. The main aim of doing the CT scan, of course, in spite of knowing the chest x-ray findings and believing that this lesion is benign, is to understand that uh, we want to rule out any obstructive etiology like a tumor or endobronchial lesion that could be causing uh, this condition. Hence, uh, the CT scan is done to confirm this. Like uh, the previous study uh, that showed us uh, a no-touch anterior mediastinal mass lesion. This lesion too is a no-touch lesion. The patient has been asymptomatic since uh, several years. This was a routine examination that was done for a job and hence there is no need to sort of uh, investigate further beyond the CT scan or to uh, intervene.